Hi guys, welcome to the Lava Sound Engineering Series. In this series, I'm gonna to introduce to you the HI Lava system and its built-in effects. These effects are really unique and have some really special parameters and settings. So in the series, I'm gonna give you some tips and advice on how you can use these effects and parameters to create some really cool, unique sounds that only a Lava Me 3 or an HI Lava system can create. The song that I'm using is called Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers. The Chainsmokers use a lot of acoustic instruments and, you know, real sounds in their songs, a lot of real samples, but also they're an EDM group, so they use a lot of synths and a lot of pads. I'm going to show you some ways that you can use an HI Lava system to recreate these sounds that you hear in the song Don't Let Me Down. So this is an EDM song. I'm going to choose Classic Trap. Now, Classic Trap seems most fitting for the song, but it's, it's a little slow. So if you go into the settings, you can up the BPM to 80 beats per minute and change the bars to eight bars. Eight bars so you can elongate the phrases and hit use. So every effect in the HI Lava system has multiple effects inside of it. So you can think of it as a multi-effect. So for example, you could have a reverb, octave, delay, and chorus all built into one patch or one effect. So although you're selecting one effect, you're triggering multiple effects to come on at the same time. The first effect I'm gonna show you is called Moonwalk. Here's what it sounds like. Once you have Moonwalk added to your template, go into the settings in the top right hand corner. I'm going to quickly show you where I keep all the parameters for every effect. The effects are Shaper, Reverse Delay, Reverb, and Output Mode. So working backwards down the line, I'm going to tell you my reverb is, uh, I try to keep it in a medium sized room. That makes sense. Mix is 0.42, pre-delay at 21, brightness all the way up at 5,000, dampening pretty low. Decay, 0.45, size, 0.9, speed at 0.01, and depth at 40. I'm using this effect as a pad to sort of lay down the, the atmospheric feel of the main riff that you hear in the song. So I wanna keep it very spacious, very atmospheric. So the settings that you're seeing now creates this type of an effect this type of a sound in this uh, different palette that you can get using this effect. Reverse delay is pretty simple. If you know what a delay is, it just delays the sound, except it plays it in reverse. So I keep it at a quarter note subdivision at 80 beats per minute. 80 beats per minute because the song is 80 beats per minute and you want everything to be perfectly in line. Feedback at 59, mix down to zero or one. I keep it really, really, really subtle because for a pad, you don't want too much rhythm. You want it to be very atmospheric and very, very spacious. Low cutoff and high cutoff, I don't touch them at all. I want a full, well-rounded sound. Finally, we got Shaper. Shaper is super unique. It's a very special effect, normally used in EDM music on synths or pads or you know, even like MIDI style instruments. So you got 2161 on the cutoff, resonance at 14.15, speed at one, amount 804, mix 100, filter type is on the BPF. BPF stands for band pass filter. A band pass filter lets the, the middle range of sound frequencies go through. If I select LPF or low pass filter, it's only the low frequencies going through and HPF is the high frequencies. So like I said earlier, I want it to be well-rounded. So I select BPF. Oscillator type, I choose a sine wave. Now you're gonna see triangle, sawtooth, trapezoid, square. These all refer to the shape of the sound wave. And then finally the BPM, like I said earlier, is set to 80, keep everything the same. I'll take the cutoff from 2161 and I'll just play it two notes. That's what it sounds like now. If I turn the cutoff down to uh, around 500. You can hear it's much lower. If I turn it up to like a thousand. And that's just one parameter of this one effect 
of the three other effects inside of this one effect. So there's so much you can alter inside of every effect. I suggest experimenting, playing around with it. But to create the sound that you heard in this song, I showed you before I changed the sound. This is the effect that I use and the parameters that I set to create this uh, electronic pad type of an effect. The second effect that I'm gonna show you is called banana bass. Pretty much, this is a bass. It's pretty simple to understand. It's got an octave and naturally the output mode. I keep the octave set so you're only hearing the lower octave, meaning the lower is at 100. The lower tone is at 50 because I like to have a little bit muddy, but not too muddy. And then it's enough of a, enough of a high tone that you can hear the, the slapping sound on the bass. And then naturally the upper octave I put to zero because I don't want to hear that at all. Upper tone doesn't matter because the upper octave is off. And then the mix all the way up to 100. The third and final effect that I use in this song is called Tenet. I'm going to play a quick sample here to give you a, a test of the sound by itself. Inside a tenant, you're gonna see it has a reverse delay, octave speed, and a reverb. To keep it simple, I'll just tell you that the reverb setting in tenant is the same as Moonwalk because you want the room to sound like it's the same size. You want everything to match, and by setting the two effects together with the same reverb, it makes the room the same size and gives them a nice, nice matching, a nice harmony together. Now, for the octave speed, I keep the lower all the way down to zero because I'm using this as the, the melody or the, the vocal line. So the upper octave, I put to 12. You can hear it a little bit, but not too much. If I were to turn it up all of the way, you can hear the high really pops out. It's really bright and it's a little bit too much. But if I turn it down to about 12 or 13, it sounds good for this setting, for what I'm using it for in this song. And then finally, the reverse delay, I keep it at a 16th note, the BPM being at 80 naturally for the fitting of the song. 75 feedback, mix all the way up to 100 because I like to hear that repetition fade out for a long, long way. Low cut all the way over, cut all of the lows because it's the, it's the harmony line, it needs to be brighter, it needs to pop and it needs to come out. And then finally, the high cut, I keep it turned all the way up. So these are the effects that I use in the song, Don't Let Me Down. Um, I only skimmed the surface. There's so much more each of these effects can do. I only give you a small sample of how I use this effect in this song. So get creative, experiment, really, really mess around with the effects and see what you can do because it's super cool, it's super unique. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our other videos, like it, and check out our other content, our other channels. As always, thank you.